For this week's video blog post, let's talk about a topic that people would love to know more about, how to make money with 3D printing and 3D design. One natural place to go is to the $20 billion per year promotional products industry. This industry creates customized products that help support and expand brand recognition. I'm sure you've seen them. These are the little giveaways you may be given at a conference or maybe even a gift with a purchase. Examples of this include bottle openers and pens with a brand's logo. 3D printing has already made its way into this industry, and I want to talk to you about some ways that it could be used even more. Here's a question to spur your thinking. How do you sell promotional product services to someone who has a software-based product? Here's the example. We were at a 3D printing conference a while ago, and a group of executives from a large software corporation came to our booth because they were intrigued with the 3D printer running on our table. Let's just say that this is a very large company where you probably use their products every day. They loved the idea of 3D printing, but said that they didn't have a need for 3D printing and wished us well. Challenge accepted. We love finding ways to use 3D printing in places where people think that it can't be used. In this case, these executives managed a suite of software applications that allowed people to write documents online, schedule meetings online, create spreadsheets online, and author presentations online, all in a browser. Sound maybe familiar? Since their products were all software-based, they didn't think that 3D printing would be able to help them brand their product. Problem solved. We created a 3D model that visually shows how all of their products work together, and they used a printout of that 3D model in videos to internally teach their employees. Many people are more kinesthetic or physical learners, and having a physical object to center their attention on helps them retain the concepts more clearly. If you want to sell promotional products to companies, here are some tips to help you work with a client. Sit down with a client, draw some ideas on a piece of paper, and come back the next day with prototypes. Then, work on any further changes as needed. If a customer only needs several hundred items for a conference, there's no need for them to order a larger number than they need. As long as they're okay with the quality of a 3D printed object, then they can order only the small number they actually need. And if the quality is a concern, you can tell your client to explain that those objects were 3D printed and the customers will think that's kind of cool. If you want only a hundred or so objects made, you can go to a service like 3D Hubs and have your promotional items printed locally supporting your local economy. Promotional products don't have to be in the hundreds or thousands of item numbers. Sometimes a client might want only five or six promotional products made, but those products would be of much higher value and be meant to give away to high up decision makers at companies they're trying to win business from. This is an example of a 3D printed vase from PotteryGame.com that you could give to the head of a museum or to someone who really likes antiquities, for example. Above all, it really comes down to how fast you can service your prospective customers or really how quickly you can impress them. Imagine you have your first meeting with a prospective customer, and then once the meeting is over, you go back to your office, find a logo for that customer online, create a quick extrusion of their logo with the words thanks and your name on the model, and then 3D print that model and send it to them the very next day. People will remember that gesture, I guarantee. And the thing is, it's really easy to do that. All you need is a $500 printer, a little bit of training, and you've done something that very few other companies could do to make you stand out from the rest. Hopefully this has given you some ideas on how you can create promotional products for clients. Thanks for joining us and stay tuned for next week's tutorial from HoneyPoint 3D.